हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉस्फोलिपिड्स बायो केमिस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट वन केमिस्ट्री एंड मेटाबोलिज्म ऑफ लिपिड्स द फॉस्फोलिपिड्स आर कंपाउंड लिपिड्स विथ फॉस्फोरिक एसिड प्रेजेंट इन इट एज वी ऑल नो दैट फैट्स हैव बीन डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर क्लासेज दैट इज द सिंपल लिपिड्स कंपाउंड लिपिड्स डिराइव लिपिड्स एंड लिपिड्स अटैच टू अदर मॉलिक्यूल सच एज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड प्रोटीन्स so we are today going to discuss only about phospholipids now the phospholipids fall in the second class of lipids that is the compound lipids and these lipids essentially have a phosphoric acid group apart from that they have an alcohol group the alcohol may be glycerol or sphingosine uh, to the alcohol is esterified uh, fatty acid so there may be one or two or more fatty acids esterified to the alcohol groups then we also have the phosphate group and we have a base this base may be of two types it may be nitrogen containing or non nitrogen containing so we are going to see uh, a, uh, a little more in detail about the different types of alcohol that make phospholipids and different types of bases that make phospholipids so first we'll see about the alcohols that are present in phospholipids so chief chiefly the phospholipids have two alcohols one is the glycerol which have three hydroxy groups and uh, the second one is sphingosine which have which is an amino alcohol and um, it has a hydroxy group as well as an amino group now we come to the x groups so first let us see the basic structure of a uh, phospholipid uh, this is a phospholipid which contains glycerol in it and as you can see here to the first uh, first carbon and second carbon is the hydroxy group is esterified with the fatty acid so this is the first fatty acid this is the second fatty acid now in the third carb on the third carbon is attached the phosphate group so this makes it a phospholipid now the variation will come over here at the x position so this x position will contain nitrogen containing bases which are attached to the phosphate or it may contain bases that are non nitrogen containing so first let us look at the nitrogen containing bases that are attached to the phosphate at x position these include choline ethanolamine and serine so in choline you can see a nitrogen group present to which are attached three methyl groups and one hydroxy group the second uh, second nitrogen containing base is ethanolamine in which there is a nitrogen containing uh, uh, group and a hydroxy containing group so uh, both are present in the choline and ethanolamine and the third one is serine uh, serine is an amino acid and you can see uh, an amine group a carboxyl group and a hydroxy group now the next is the non nitrogen containing bases that attach here at the x position of the phosphate at third carbon these include inositol inositol does not have any nitrogen uh similarly glycerol also does not have any nitrogen and both these groups can attach at the x position giving rise to different types of phospholipids so now we come to the classification of phospholipids so let us first define lipids which are heterogeneous group of compounds freely soluble in non polar organic solvents mm. Uh, lipids are further classified into four classes uh, today we are only going to discuss about the second class which is composed of compound lipids now the compound lipids is uh, further uh, classified as phosphorylated lipids and non phosphorylated lipids uh, once again today we will only discuss about phosphorylated lipids which are also known as phospholipids now these phospholipids have a fatty acid group they have an alcohol group and they have a nitrogenous base and they also have a phosphate group 
बिकॉज दे हैव द फॉस्फेट ग्रुप इट इज़ नोन एज अ फॉस्फोलिपिड सो दीज फॉस्फोलिपिड्स आर क्लासिफाइड फर्दर ग्रुप्ड इन टू फोर ग्रुप्स लेट फोर कैटेगरीज लेट अस सी विच आर दे इट इज़ द ग्लीसरो फॉस्फोलिपिड्स विच कंटेन ग्लीसरॉल एज द एल्कोहल प्लस फैटी एसिड्स प्लस फॉस्फेट ग्रुप प्लस अ नाइट्रोजन कंटेनिंग बेस the second example the second group is glycerophospholipids that contain non nitrogen containing base uh, rest of it is similar to the nitrogen containing glycerophospholipids the third group is of uh, plasmalogens plasmalogens are uh, long chain alcohols with fatty acid phosphate group and a base and phosphosphingosides is the fourth group which contains sphingosine an 18 carbon amino alcohol plus fatty acid plus phosphate plus choline attached so these are the different groups of phospholipids that is glycerophospholipids having nitrogen containing base glycerophospholipid having non nitrogen containing base plasmalogens and phosphosphingosides so let us look at the examples of glycerophospholipids having nitrogen containing base these include lecithin sphalin and phosphatidyl serine lecithin is also known as phosphatidyl choline sphalin is also known as phosphatidyl ethanolamine and phosphatidyl serine uh, is the third example uh, then we come to glycerol uh, phospholipids having non nitrogen containing base these include phosphatidyl inositol phosphatidyl glycerol and diphosphatidyl glycerol uh, the plasmalogens uh, have uh, choline uh, plasmalogen and ethanol amine plasmalogen as examples and phosphosphingosides have the only example of sphingomyelin so this is how the different phospholipids are classified based on the alcohol present so alcohol may be glycerol or it may be sphingosine or a long chain uh, alcohol and it is also classified based on the base that is present which may be nitrogen containing or non nitrogen containing base now this is the uh, uh, this is the triacyl glycerol uh, to which uh, glyce to the glycerol molecule Uh, to the hydroxy group of glycerol molecule there are three fatty acids uh, forming an ester linkage this is known as triacyl glycerol now at the third car at the third uh, carbon if uh, the fatty acid is replaced by a phosphoric acid then this molecule is known as phosphatidic acid phosphatidic acid is the Uh, simplest fatty acid and uh, it is also the precursor of all phospholipids so this we have to remember now if the alcohol back uh, backbone is of sphingosine then you can see that there are uh, there is uh, one fatty acid is linked with amide linkage and the second uh, to the third carbon there is an ester linked phosphate group to this another alcohol is added so this is a sphingolipid so that which has glycerol in its backbone is uh, glycerophospholipid and that which has uh, sphingosine as alcohol to its backbone is called sphingolipid now we will see uh, about different uh, plasmalogens which we have discussed so what is the difference between other uh phospholipids and plasmalogen you can see that here um, there is an unsaturated fatty acid which is uh, unsaturated alcohol which is uh, forming an ether linkage everywhere else there is a ester linkage in all other phospholipids but plasmalogen is the only group that has a ether linkage at the first carbon and it is uh, uh, attached to a alcohol which is unsaturated that is the second feature uh, now at the uh, second carbon there is a regular fatty acid ester linkage and at the third carbon phosphate group is present 
so here again there is an x group the x group will define as to uh, what are the different examples of the plasmalogen so if choline is attached to the x group then it is choline plasmalogen and if ethanolamine is attached to the uh, x group then it is ethanolamine plasmalogen now we'll just see a brief summary of head groups designated as h that are attached for glycerophospholipids and phosphosphingolipids so this is the skeletal uh, uh, background of glycerophospholipids and this is a phosphosphingolipid okay so we'll see what are the different x groups that will uh be attached here at this position so if the x group is water then we form phosphatidic acid which is the simplest phospholipid and all other phospholipids are derived from the phosphatidic acid now um, if ethanol amine is attached here it is called this is the ethanol amine group it is called phosphatidyl ethanol amine and uh, Phosphatidyl ethanol amine is also known as cephalin. So uh, this is the uh, second possibility. The third possibility is attachment of choline group at this position, and it will form phosphatidyl serine. So when choline group, uh, sorry, when choline group attaches to the X group, it forms phosphatidyl choline, and phosphatidyl choline is also known as lecithin. So for lecithin. Uh, and cephalin are both uh, largely uh, most abundant phospholipids and lecithin is the largest store of choline in our body so please remember this that lecithin is the largest store of choline in our body now the next possibility of attachment at x is the serine um amino acid and when serine is attached here it will form phosphatidyl serine uh, and if a glycerol molecule is attached at the x group it is called phosphatidyl glycerol and if two glycerol molecules are attached then it is called phosph two this is the first and this is the second so it is called diphosphatidyl glycerol and diphosphatidyl glycerol is also known as cardiolipin so there is another important point related to cardiolipin here and that is uh, that cardiolipin is antigenic in nature now uh, these all these uh, examples six ex first six examples uh, were uh, Glyce those of glycerophospholipids, which means the alcohol was glycerol. Now uh, the last example is of sphingomyelin, which has sphingosine as the amino alcohol that is present. And this sphingosine uh, to this sphingosine, if uh, a, uh, is is attached a fatty acid, a phosphate group, and a choline molecule, then it will form sphingomyelin. So these are. This is the brief uh, about all the phospholipids. So hope you like like what I presented before you. Uh, so for more videos, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. Have a nice day.